Camp David, we decided to expand our partnership in several important and concrete ways. First, I am reaffirming our ironclad commitment to the security of our Gulf partners. As we've declared in our joint statement, the United States is prepared to work jointly with GCC member states to uh, deter and confront an external threat to any GCC state's territorial integrity that is inconsistent with the UN Charter. In the event of such aggression or the threat of such aggression, the United States stands ready to work with our GCC partners to urgently determine what actions may be appropriate using the means at our collective disposal, including the potential use of military force for the defense of our GCC partners. And let me underscore, the United States keeps our commitments. Second, and to back up our words with deeds, we will increase our already extensive security cooperation. We'll expand our military exercises and assistance to meet the full range of threats, in particular terrorism. This means more training and cooperation between our special operations forces, sharing more information and stronger border security to prevent the flow of foreign fighters, and increased enforcement to prevent terrorist financing. We'll step up our efforts to counter violent extremism, including online, and more broadly, we'll expand our cooperation on maritime security and work to harden our partners' critical infrastructure. Third, we'll help our Gulf partners improve their own capacity to defend themselves. The United States will streamline and expedite the transfer of critical defense capabilities to our GCC partners. We will work together to develop an integrated GCC defense capability against ballistic missiles, including an early warning system. And we will work toward the development of rapid response capabilities to undertake missions such as counterterrorism and peacekeeping. Fourth, we pledge to work together to try to resolve armed conflicts in the region. And we've articulated core principles to guide our efforts. Respect for state sovereignty, recognition that these conflicts can only be resolved politically, and acknowledgement of the importance of inclusive governance and the need to respect minorities and protect human rights. Of course, whether we reach a nuclear deal or not with Iran, we're still going to face a range of threats across the region, including uh, its destabilizing activities as well as the threat from terrorist groups. So we're going to work together to address these threats, and much of the enhanced security cooperation that I've outlined will allow us to do precisely that. But I want to be very clear. The purpose of security cooperation is not to perpetuate any long-term confrontation with Iran or even to marginalize Iran. None of our nations have an interest in an open-ended conflict with Iran. We welcome an Iran that plays a responsible role in the region, one that takes steps to build trust and resolve its differences with its neighbors by peaceful means and abides by international rules and norms. As I've said before, ending the tensions in the region and resolving its devastating conflicts will require a broader dialogue, one that includes Iran and its GCC neighbors. And so a key purpose of bolstering the capacity of our GCC partners is to ensure that our partners can deal with Iran politically, diplomatically, from a position of confidence and strength. And finally, while this summit was focused on security cooperation, events in the Middle East since the beginning of the Arab Spring are a reminder that True and lasting security includes governance that serves all citizens and respects universal human rights. So in the Middle East, as we do around the world, the United States will continue to speak out on behalf of inclusive governance, representational, uh, representative institutions, strong civil societies and human rights, and we will work to expand the educational and economic opportunities that allow people, especially young people, to fulfill their potential. So again, I want to thank all of our